everyone. Today is Sunday, October 18th. And this little bundle of joy is treasure. <laughs> Very vocal. Very lovable. Stop that treasure. Give me a treasure. Treasure is a sweet little kitten that was brought over yesterday. Strange circumstances of how she was brought over, but she is now officially the new addition to the family. <laughs> and she has bonded with me almost too well. I mean, it's one of those things when I go out, she stays within my, um, against my ankles straight to the door. And I got to like push her in, in order to keep her. Come on, Chaja. Oh. There we go. Oh, so tiny. I have to be careful. I'm worried about rolling the chair and she's going to be underneath the chair. So I guess, how do I explain this? Um, first of all, I was terrified that my husband would be mad at me. Um, the reason being is we talked about potentially getting another cat and it's an actual, it's an odd story because he's feeling that I have yet to grieve Bijou, which he's probably right. I mean, this has been a really, really, really bad week for me. I've not been happy. I've been snapping for no reason at all. Oh, she's very vocal. Come on, treasure. Come in, BB. I want her to go to sleep. That's what it is. She's very happy because I just came into the office and I guess I woke her up. And I, and I just fed her, so she ate a lot. She ate a lot of stuff. Yeah, you filled your belly. But anyway, um, I haven't properly grieved on Bijou. And the first thing that I was worried about was that literally he was going to take her and like throw her out or not want her. And that, that just shows what a bad person I am. Because here I'm thinking that my husband's going to do something to the cat as opposed to talk. I mean, that's, that's how scared I was of the kitty. And it was actually funny because when he came in and looked at the cat, oh my God, the cat cowered back from him, curled up and like stayed in my arms until he picked her up. He started petting her. She, like, did her little mewing that she was doing, and, um, he left it up to me. And I'll be honest, sometimes I don't want decisions like that. I mean, on one end, you could say simply because the cat was in the office that I made the decision, or on the other end, it could be like, I have this cat here, what am I going to do with it? We couldn't take it to the shelter because, well, not only the shelter being closed, the local shelter is currently filled. They are not taking any more cats. And this is a area where you have to be careful if you just post something in regards to animals for free because A, they'll use it for not so nice things. Um, that's all I'll say about that. So the fact is, this kitty really didn't have, or I should just say this, we're in Texas. You put a straight, a little baby like this, as soon as it starts mewing, like a little, cur meow, meow. as soon as it starts that, it's going to be like an owl or a hawk or a, that'll just scoop it up, take it away, and it'll be dinner. So <laughs> the fact is, the cat is adorable. Oh, here she comes. She's, she's learning to climb. She really is. Come here, stop scratching. <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's getting, she's learning to climb. She's learning to scratch. She doesn't scratch me, though. She just scratched my chair. But then again, Hope used to do that as well. So, my plan is I want to take her to the vet tomorrow. Um, I don't want to introduce her to the other cats just yet because I'm afraid um, if she might have something, I want to make sure she has all her vaccinations. Um, obviously after I touch her and play with her and I go in, I wash up, I make sure that I'm not touching the other cats right away. Um, I don't know how they're going to respond because just like me, haven't had time to grieve. The question is, has my other kitties 
had time to grieve? I don't know. But I want to just make sure that she's all okay, that she's up to date, that she's healthy, that there's no issues, underlying issues that I should be aware of. Um, and just want to make sure that she's a healthy cat. That's, I got to protect my other ones too. I mean, you can see she's, she's purring. I mean, oh my God, is she purring. Her purring is like a motorboat. So maybe this is exactly what I needed. It's like, they say when one door closes and another one opens, it's just, are you going to walk through that door? Um, so I named her, that was the hardest thing. In fact, I haven't named her until late last night. Because everybody's like, what do you name her? What do you name her? And for me, that's the hardest name because if I figure out what to name somebody and actually name a cat, that means I'm keeping the cat, that the cat belongs to the family. And I was a little reluctant to name her at first. But of all the things, I thought treasure. Life names treasures. It's all coming together. She's my little treasure. <laughs> and it's funny because treasure sort of has the same syllables as like, well, it really doesn't, but like Bijou, Treasure, I don't know. But she is tiny. From what I know, um, they're saying she's three months old, but my husband's like, no way is this cat three months old. Um, he's thinking she's about maybe, because they also says that she just finished weaning. So finished weaning is usually 10 weeks. So that's only a month and a half. Um, I just hope she wasn't weaned too early or any development issues or anything like that. But she appears to be very, very active, very alert, very vocal. And I mean, I can't keep her in the office because that's one of the things I have to be careful with is what would happen to the stuff dander, pet allergies, that sort of thing. So she's only staying in here for two days. I'm keeping the uh, door shut. So she's basically only in the main room for a little bit. And then I'll have her checked out for, by the bed tomorrow. Bring her to the doctor. And then from there, hopefully we'll introduce her home and we'll see how she reacts. How Well, I shouldn't say how she reacts. She'll probably be fine. We'll see how the other two respond to her. So with that, everyone, that is Treasure, and um, I officially got Treasure on October 17th. Saturday, October 17th. Now she's going over there, she's eating. <laughs> I guess I have to make sure I don't eat, feed her too much because she totally devoured the wet stuff. Gone. And now she keeps going back. She'll take like two bites of the dry stuff and then come over and play. Then she runs back over, takes another two bites, and I'm hoping that's not too much. But I didn't leave her a big amount. I only left, like, a small amount of food. I mean, I'm not going to... Baby, come on. I'm not going to overfeed her, although I know she's a girl, growing girl. And she has her water dish, too. So with that, everyone, this is Melanie from Light Beach Treasures. And what I'm introducing is... Treasure. <laughs> it's like Beam's treasure. Literally. She's so cute, isn't she? She's a doll. So she's my little treasure. And of course I give my um my other ones some loving too. They've been sleeping on top of me at night. So I think that's what's probably gonna happen. Is once I introduce you to the other ones, yeah. Once I introduce you to the other ones, it's gonna be one big kitty pile. <laughs> Yeah, for now, she's my office cat. The question is, will I be able to get work done with her? <laughs> we'll see today, because today I have a lot of work planned. So, have a great day, everyone. This is Melanie and Treasure from Light Beams Treasures.